Uh, hello everyone, I'm back with the second part of this tutorial and I have knit, as you can see from the tape measure here, I've knit the 15 inches that I wanted up to the, um, the armholes and the 15 inches that I did is, I count that somewhere, I knit nine, 96 rows in the pattern from here up to the 15 inches and it's easy to count these because of the pattern you just go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32 so on that's how easy it is to, cut, to, um, to count the number of rows of this um, particular pattern so now I'm going to show you how to shape the um, armholes this is going to be a set in sleeve so when I do a set in sleeve I have a stitch marker, but I'll show you um, how this comes in handy. But for the start, I'm going to cast off six stitches at the start, at this row and the second row. So the next two rows, I'm going to cast off two stitches, six stitches, sorry. <laughs> knit ways it's one two three four five six so that's six stitches I've cast off you can see there where the cast off stitches are and then I'm just going to knit across that row but I'm going to follow the pattern and as there are three rows one two three I'm going to start with a purl over the knit and the next two one knit two and then purl two and I'm going to do that all the way across the row and I'll come back when I get that far and now we're going to cast off six stitches purl wise and I'm sure you know how to um, to cast off but it's purl one purl two take the first stitch and pass it over the second stitch and that's the way you cast off so that's one two three four five six that's six stitches cast off purl wise and I'm going to purl across that row now and I will meet you at the end of that row so that's a two both sides I've casted off six stitches and now I'm going to show you what this stitch marker is for. I put a stitch marker. I would have started below this this mark here. The two rows I've done. So put a stitch marker in. And now I'm going to... When I finish the decreasing, I'm going to knit eight inches up to the shoulders, and that's how I count from the stitch marker. I don't count from the sides or from the the bottom. I count from the um, the stitch marker, and that's easy putting the stitch marker in. It's because of how you can count these stitches: two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, the number of rows. That's, I count the number of rows as well as, well as measure it. If you get a more accurate measurement from um, here, 
and I'll be wanting eight and a half inches, but I still have more shaping to do first. So I'm going to cast off two stitches at the start of the next four rows. So that's the same as before. Instead of six, we're just taking two. So that's one, two, and then continue and pattern across the row. And it's another purl stitch to start with. And I will meet you at the end of that row. And now we're going to cast off two stitches on the purl at the start of the purl row. It's one, two, and then just purl across that row. And after this row, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to cast off another two stitches at the start of the knit row and another two stitches at the next purl row. So I will come back after I've done those rows. So that's those four rows. I've decreased two stitches. Well, cast off two stitches each side there. And there, so you've cast off two stitches on the knit side and two stitches on the purl side. And you should now have 96 stitches left on your needles. And now I'm going to decrease both ends of every, every row for six rows. For the next six rows, the first two stitches I'm going to knit into the back of those two stitches. And then just do the pattern across to the end. Now I'll meet you at the end of that row. And I'm now coming to the last. And I'm going to knit the last two stitches together, just normal, through the front. That's that row and purl row. Let's purl two stitches together. Pull to the end of the row and then pull two more stitches together. And now we're going to pull the last two stitches together, but instead of going front ways like that, I'm going through the back. So that they slope across to match the other side doesn't really matter you can do it the other way because um you do be doing a back stitch when you stitch the sleeves on anyway and you won't see the um the decreasing that's why i do them on the end so that's two rows and there's another four rows you have to do like that decreasing on both sides and i'll come back when i finish those those rows So this is the the decreasing on the the armholes. You can see here. 
and so we've cast off six stitches at each end here and then two stitches for four rows and I was going to do decrease one stitch each end of every row for six rows but I've decided eight rows is better so I've done it for eight rows so you should have 80 stitches left on your needle and now we're going to knit up to the shoulders and measure from the from your stitch marker here and go up to eight and a half inches up to the shoulder and I will come back with another tutorial when I get that far so yeah thumbs up and subscribe for for this one and I'll catch you with the part three and so for those of you who want to write down the the instructions I've carried on from um, where I left left off where I got it measured 15 inches and I had knit 96 rows to the armhole shaping and then cast off six stitches beginning of next two rows that leaves you with 104 stitches cast off two stitches beginning of next four rows that leaves you with 96 stitches and then decrease one stitch each end of the next eight rows and that leaves you with 80 stitches and continue in pattern until the back measures eight and a half inches so that's that part with a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll come back with um part three when i get up to the shoulders <laughs> 